<laughs> What's so funny, Gracie? Teacher, see this flowchart. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's quite funny. I wish I can create my own flowcharts like this. Well, if you learn about dichotomous keys, you can. Dichotomous keys? What's that? Well, we biologists create a lot of flowcharts for decision making too. We call our flowcharts dichotomous keys. Dichotomous because? Because dichotomous means two branches, just like the flowchart you showed. I see. So what do we biologists create flowcharts for? To identify an organism, of course. But how? Well, just like a flowchart, a dichotomous key consists of a series of questions. Each question has two alternative answers. Depending on which answer is chosen, the user is directed to the next question. Thus, by starting at the first question and then by a process of elimination, a specimen may be identified. Oh, that sounds amazing. Please show me how it works. All right. I'll give you two examples. Here is the first, a branching dichotomous key. Oh my, it looks just like my flowchart. So, by asking a series of questions, we can identify if the organism is a wasp, housefly, spider, snail, or earthworm. That's right. Like using a book of illustration, someone using the key should understand the characteristics of the organisms they want to identify. So, they won't encounter any significant problems when choosing the correct statement. Got it, teacher. So, they can be the numbers of legs and the numbers of wings in an animal. Or, can be the numbers of petals or shape of leaves if it is in a plant, right? That's right. Here's the second example. A numbered key. Now, using the numbered key, can you tell me what is the name of this organism? Okay, I got this. So, start with statement number one, right? Exactly. Obviously, it has no legs. So, I go to number four, and clearly it has no shell. I got it, the earthworm. Very good. Easy peasy. I think I'm ready for other questions now, teacher. Of course. Here is your quiz.